Hello again. So this is about antisocial people and sort of uh, exercise for yourself. I watch these videos. This looks to be a proper subset of this one. Uh, this has extra material. So this is extra material. This one, but I watch this first. It, the thumbnail says Master Manipulator. The title says Teenage Hero, Hero Killer Thinks She Can Manipulate the Police. And it's actually BS. Both of them. She's not a master manipulator and she does not think she can manipulate the police. She doesn't even try. It's just normal. She, not even normal. It's just telling exactly what happened. And sometimes some things she didn't uh, recall or uh, I think go to the background as being not so important to tell. And then please ask something and this and this. And she, she then says, yeah, okay. And then you go a bit into more depth. <clears throat> Or it changes a little bit because uh, after traumatic experience, even if you want to do something like that, it influences you uh, to kill someone. They were also smoking weed that can also affect your brain, your memory, etc. So I'm not, a, I don't think Master Manipulator knows she can manipulate police. That's not, not shown at all. Um, then this one. Um, the thumbnail says you found a video and the th team can realize realizes cops found a secret recording well there was no secret re recording the police found some recording where somewhere and it was of them so this was someone else and then they asked yeah when was this made was it after the murder or not because she said she didn't have anyone over she said yeah it must have been before then for example i don't know how, why they don't look at the dates the, the dates of files anyway um secret recording that is not mentioned anywhere in the transcription that was shown at least not in the video you found the video she did not say that in the video this thumbnail picture is actually from when she was alone in the interrogation room and she was making faces so this combination is fake. This is manipulation. This is manipulation by the makers of the videos to make you watch these stories. And it's ne absolutely not necessary because it's interesting enough in itself. Okay, let's... So the question is, a lot of people commenting with these videos say, yeah, she's a psychopath. Is she one? So a psychopath is someone who's the most antisocial possible. She only cares about herself or he cares only about herself. This has certain influences on behavior and ex uh, showed for example or mentioned uh, my experience with an actress in kiev who was a psychopath is still is that that doesn't change um only cares about herself excuses ex accused me of things that actually were complete nonsense that she did or i did not do and she did not do uh it's not so projection is actually not about seeing something in someone else. Uh, I've not completely added that and, and explained that, added that to this topic, but okay, okay let's see. Continuing here, this is also interesting. Uh, this is what I learned from Constantine Kissin's War of Free Speech. From checking, I watched only one video by these guys, Trigonometry, and I don't know why I didn't watch it, but I think I could not stand these people, or at least probably him. He sort of turns into the background, and that's because I think he's a psychopath. And as I mentioned, uh, from my experiences with, with psychopaths, they, the conversation then does not flow. For example, the, the psychiatrist who interviews Kit Boga, conversation does not flow. And I've experienced that in reality with this actress, but also a woman who, with her boyfriend or husband, came to visit my house to see about buying it. Exactly the same thing with her, a psychopath. And this guy, with this guy, work together. The result of this is that that the conversation does not flow, is hidden. So I think he's a psychopath from just a little bit of watching. And maybe I'm wrong, but probably I'm not wrong. Uh, I d did not like him. I don't like him in the facial experience, facial expression here. He has a typical psychopath facial expression, which is none. Is it wrong or right? 
Well, I'm going to watch a bit more from these guys soon to analyze them. But for you, yeah, these two are interesting. I would, I would try to watch this one. If you're interested in antisocial people, psychopaths, and uh, understanding why people do things, think about whether this girl is a psychopath or not, and if not, why not? If so, why so? That's it for now. Bye.